And what about the one and only Stacey Abrams? <laughs> Stacey, if we had 10 of you, we could rule the whole world. God love you. You're doing an incredible job. And here, is there anyone in America who has done more to protect the right to vote in this election? Is there anyone who's done more to make sure the voice of every Georgian is heard? I don't think so. Stacey Abrams, you're a hero. You're the one that got this going. And we all thank you. And of course, honk for your next United States Senators, John Orsoff and Reverend Raphael Warnock. Georgia, let me start with two simple words. Thank you. Thank you for turning out in record numbers in the November election. Thank you for the faith you put in me and Vice President-elect Harris. And thank you for standing strong to make sure your voices were heard, your votes were counted and counted and count it again. I'm starting to feel like I won Georgia three times. <laughs> I have to say, it feels pretty good. You know, I, uh, I think all of you just taught Donald Trump a lesson. In this election, Georgia wasn't going to be bullied. Georgia wasn't going to be silenced. Georgia certainly wasn't going to stand by and let Donald Trump or the state of Texas or anyone else come in here and toss out your votes. But you know, you know who didn't stand by? You know who did nothing while Trump, Texas, and others were trying to wipe out every single one of the almost 5 million votes you had cast here in Georgia in November? Your two Republican senators, they stood by. In fact, your two Republican senators fully embraced what Texas was telling the Supreme Court. They fully embraced nullifying nearly 5 million Georgia votes. You might want to remember that come January 5th. Now, I'll try to be generous here in the spirit of the season. Maybe your senators were just confused. Maybe they think they represent Texas. Well, if you want to do the bidding of Texas, you should be running in Texas, not in Georgia. Because you know what? You got a couple of folks running for the United States Senate in this state who aren't confused at all. John Ossoff, Raphael Warnock, they're running to represent Georgia. Georgia. They'll actually fight for you, represent you, stand up for you. They will put Texas first. They won't put Donald Trump first. They won't put themselves first either. <clears throat> They'll put you first, the people of Georgia. There's no doubt in my mind, none, none, that if Texas or Trump or anyone else in the United States Senate tries to do anything except respect the will of the people of Georgia, they'll move heaven and earth to stop them. Folks, you know, you all did something extraordinary in November. You voted in record numbers. You voted to improve the lives of every Georgian. And you voted as if your life depended on it. Well, guess what? Now you're going to have to do it again. Come January 5th, you've got to vote in record numbers again. <laughs>